Good evening. During World War II, a group of American soldiers, most of them Catholics, came upon a bomb-out church in France. And then they saw there was a statue of the Sacred Heart broken to pieces. So they painstakingly picked up the pieces, glued them together. And they almost finished the whole statue, but they could not find the hands. Somebody placed a sign, you shall be my hands. Today, I would like to talk to people God sends to our lives to strengthen our hands when they are feeble. According to the first reading, make firm our knees when they are weak. Say to us when our hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Tells us, here is your God. He comes with vindication. He comes to save you. God does not touch you directly. He is absolute, infinite, everlasting. He sends people to show us His love. Just like in the Gospel today. In the Gospel today, the people said, We have seen incredible things today. They were struck with awe. But Jesus, was struck with awe at the faith of the men who brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were highly motivated. Maybe they loved the, paraly the paralytic very much. They were very good friends, maybe relative. And they tried to bring him in, set him in his presence, but not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd. They went up on the roof and lowered him on the street, sir, through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, as for you, your sins are forgiven. It was their faith. Jesus marveled at their faith, so he cured the paralytic. Two people are sent by God. Angels are messengers from God. There are a lot of angels in our lives. We thank them. We, we thank God for them during this Mass. Yung paralytic. Pag matagal ka ng paralytic, wala nang papansin sa'yo. There are fair weather friends. Naranasan ko yan nung nag-aaral pa ako sa UST ng ilang taon. Marami kang kaibigan. Pag may pera ka lang eh, alis-alis kayo dyan, nagpapalibre. Pero mayroon din akong kaibigan. Alam ko, kailangan niya yung pera. Hihiram ako. Papahiramin niya ako dahil alam niya, kailangan ko rin eh. We have friends like that. Yung mga nagdala kay, kay Jesus nitong paralitik halimbawa. <coughs> Seminarista pa ako, naiintriga na ako dito sa mga ano eh, mga taong ito. <coughs> Sigurado sila na pagagalingin ni Jesus eh. Baka yung paralitik, baka hindi pa eh. Pero paralitik naman siya, wala siyang magagawa. Kinarga sa una, uh, kumot siguro, dala-dala nilang ganyan. Tapos wala sila, layo ni Jesus, o makiat sa atip, tinanggal yung mga tiles. Hindi kaya pinagalitan ng mga may-ari ng bahay yung mga. Pero tinanggal nila, binaba nila sa ang paralitik na ganyan kay Jesus. Dahil sa kanilang pananampalataya, pinagaling ni Jesus, pinatawad pa ang kasalanan. Manalangin tayo na may mga kaibigan tayong ganyan. Yung walang iwanan, yung best friends forever, they can be a sign of 
God's love for us pag mayroong ganyan. Minsan, may mga kaibigan ka, mas malapit pa sa iyo kaysa mga kapatid mo eh. Kasi yung kapatid mo, iba-iba naman ang age bracket niya. Tawa, mas palagi kayong magkasama kaysa ang mga kapatid mo dahil nag-aaral kayo. Magbabarkada na yan. Pag nagkatugma ang personalities, kaibigan mo na yan. Ay lalo na sa amin. Lalo na sa mga army. Nagtutulungan yan. So, let us pray today for people that God sends to our lives to strengthen our hands when they are weak, to make firm our knees when they are feeble, to tell us when our hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. I also see a lot of friendships develop in charismatic communities. I think it is God's grace also that charismatic communities came to the Philippines. I was still in the novitiate. Kapapaso ko lang ng seminaryo. Napapakita ito. Treat each other as brothers and sisters. And I was strengthened since 1983 from Smoky Mountain. I was 30 years in Smoky Mountain. For many years, I drove to Ayala, Alabama to the breakfast, to the prayer breakfast of the Brotherhood of Christian Businessmen and Professionals. Dami ko rin naging kaibigan. Namatay na nga lang yung iba. Minsan dinala ni Vice President Emmanuel Pilais yung mga BCBP pe napunta sa Smoky Mountain. Nakita nila, tinulungan ko. Nag-scholarship program. Ang daming nag-college graduate sa mga dating scavengers. Ang laki ng utang na loob sa kanila. They were God's grace to me and to Smoky Mountain. Hanggang ngayon, yung mga anak ni Vice President Pilais, kinausap yung kanilang mga kaibigan, lalo na sa ligaya ng Panginoon, charismatic community, binigyan. We have 100 students, school dropouts, sa alternative learning system ng debit, binigyan. Tig-isang tablet. Mas mahal pa kisa tablet na, na binigay sa akin. Cherry Mobile Deluxe pinamigay ko noong a few days ago. God's grace yan. Pasalamatan natin ang Diyos sa ganyan. Kasi, gaya ng aking kinwento, mga tao rin ang nagiging kamay ng Diyos para hipuin tayo. Pasalamatan natin kung kamagkaanak natin yan, kung kaklase natin, kung kasama natin sa army, kasama natin sa trabaho, nagiging malapit sa atin. Pagkatapos, our hearts become one in friendship. Especially kung may religious, kagaya ng mga charismatic communities, mas malapit kayo dahil nag-worship together yung mga charismatic communities. Eh. Lord's flock, loved flock, bukas loob sa Diyos, salt and light, ang dami-dami na ngayon yan. Nagiging community. And everyone there was sent by God to show in the concrete God's love for us. Kinukorek ko pa niyan eh. Gaya ng mga kaklasiko. Sasabihan na yung aming barkada. Huwag mo nang gawin yan. Susundin mo dahil kailangan mo sila. Hindi ka naman nila maging kaibigan eh. Mas influential pa sila kisa yung spiritual director. Kasi yung spiritual director hindi alam ang buhay mo eh. Ay samantalang pag malapit ka na sa gilid, sa, sa bingit ng tukso, sasabihan ka ng mga kaibigan mo. God's way of telling you to follow the straight path. Kaibigan natin, kagaya ng mga lalaki. 
kinarga yung paralitik. Gustong ilapit kay Jesus, hindi makalapit. Binutasan niyong ate. Let us pray that God will bless our friends and send us friends that we need when we are weak. But most of all, to rejoice together with them. Yun din joy ng heaven. Magkainan kayo ng mga kaibigan mo. Parang analogy na eh. Parang paghahambing na sa heavenly Jerusalem. Saya ninyo dyan. Minsan mas masaya pag sa reunion ng family dahil pagkakilala na naman kayo dyan eh. So God's love becomes concrete through people that He sends to our lives. Let us also be the hands of God. Tapikin natin yung ating mga kaibigan kung nalilihis na ng landas. Kamayan natin sila pag mag-rejoice na pag nag- So as we celebrate the Eucharist, let us thank God for all the people that He sent so that His love will become real to us.